Well, the Toronto Maple Leafs have certainly found their new whipping boy, and it is Ryan Reeves. And I say new because the Toronto Maple Leafs always have at minimum one whipping boy. Last year, it moved between Mitch Marner early on, certainly Justin Hall more often than not. This season, there's a clear number one, however, and that is Ryan Reeves. Now, as a Rangers fan, I have mixed feelings about Revo. Yes, he's known as a tough guy, but he's not always been, well, the Revo he is now. And I'll get to that in a second. With the Rangers in 2021, I thought he was a good fourth line energy guy. I wasn't really uncomfortable with him out there. He was good in the corners, obviously not a great skater, but you know, that fourth line, it was fine. I wasn't sad to see them get rid of him. I wasn't sad to see him benched in the playoffs either. The Rangers didn't really need that quote unquote grit. And by the next season, his play declined even further. So they moved him to Minnesota, which I think was for the best. And he actually performed pretty well there, leading to his new three year deal by the Maple Leafs. Now, Ryan Reeves is 36 years old. A three-year deal never made any sense for that player, especially north of a million dollars. As someone who does like the Leafs, this was a pretty big warning sign to me that Bradtree Living was going to take the team in a bad direction. And the contract looks bad now, and we're like less than 20 games into year one. His lack of skating is really obvious. That impacts his ability to be physical and to hit. He's a defensive liability. You can read the stats. He's out there for so many goals against despite getting minimal ice time and now tonight he's out of the lineup. The problem with Toronto is that they misunderstand what it means to have team grit. You can't artificially make a team tough, and Ryan Reeves, who's getting not much ice time, can't make the Toronto Maple Leafs a different feeling team. Even Revo combined with the other acquisitions this summer can't do that. What you need is a tough team across individuals, individuals who are willing to stick up for each other, and that's look at the Tampa Bay Lightning, all the way from the Kucherovs and the Stamkos to the seventh defenseman skating that night. And you know what? I can't say that I saw this coming. I didn't like the Reeves contract. I like the other acquisitions this summer, but the Toronto Maple Leafs just look like a significantly worse team. I feel like a piece they're really missing, Ryan O'Reilly, they were never going to keep him because he didn't want to stay in Toronto, but that's the kind of tough player the Leafs want to model their game around. And right now it seems like some big changes need to be made. And one of those involves dealing somehow with Ryan Reeves.